Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how to make use of the set interval function and also the clear interval function on AppSmith. My name is Confident and I'm a developer advocate here in AppSmith. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so taking a look at the application we have on the page, we have a simple application that consists of a table widget and we have this table widget displaying data from the get books query. So the get books query is making use of the Google Sheets integration, as you can see right here, and we have data being fetched from a Google Sheet. So taking a look at the sheets, uh, this is the Google Sheets data we have, and we have configured the get books query using the Google Sheet integration available on AppSmith. If you'd like to learn more about how to use the Google Sheet integration, I'm going to leave a link to the top corner right here so that you can go check that out. All right. So in order to illustrate how to make use of the set interval and clear interval functions, I'm going to build an auto update flow for the application we have here on the page. And in order to do that, I'm going to bring in a switch widget. So I'm just going to drop the switch widget right there. For the label, I'm going to set this to auto update. All right. And by default, I would want this to be turned off. Now, we want to go in to configure the onChange action so that we get to run some code whenever the switch is switched on or switched off. So let's go into enable JavaScript and write an if you right here. And we can execute this if you, all right. All right, so the first thing I want to do here is to write an if statement that will run the auto update using the set interval function we have on AppSmith. So this is going to be if, if the switch is switched on, so we have switch one, which is the name of the switch widgets we have right here, switch one. So if switch one dot is switched on is true, what we want to do is to run the auto update using set interval. So this is going to be set interval. All right. The set interval function takes in three parameters. The first is the function we want to run as every interval. The second is the interval specified in milliseconds. And lastly, a string identifier for the set interval. So let's go into specify a function right here. So this is going to be the function. We want to call the get books query each time. So this is going to be get books dot run. For the interval, let's make this every two seconds or 2000 milliseconds. And lastly, we need to pass in an identifier. So this is going to be auto updates. In fact, we can store this identifier in a variable and make use of it right here. So I'm just going to create a variable ID, which is going to be auto, auto updates. And we can go into make use of that right here. So this is just going to be ID. All right, that looks good. For the else clause, what we need to do is to clear that interval given the ID. So we can use the clear interval function. All right, and we can go into passing the ID, which would be the author of this string we specified right here. All right, so that looks good. We can go into give this a try by turning this on. And we see that the sheet is going to be auto updated every two milliseconds using the set interval function we specified. And we can go into update this sheet. So I'm just going to update this record to man, for example. And going back to the sheet, and we see that we have that data showing up because we have specified the set interval function to so always run the updates every two seconds. And we can similarly turn this off by clicking on the switch, and that is going to clear the interval and stop the auto update. So in this video, you've been able to see how to make use of the set interval function and the clear interval function. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to attend to your questions. All right, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.